everybody, it's me, Monica, and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing a coastal cottage in Winderberg on 20 by 20 lot. So basically, <laughs> we are continuing uh, this Winder Windenburg Island in the same tone because if you remember uh, in my last video I was making a lighthouse so if you didn't see that video definitely check it out it's amazing it's probably one of my favorite builds in Windenburg um, I don't know lighthouses are just so cool at least when they're showing them in the movies <laughs> That's right. So today we're going to be doing this uh, tiny little adorable cottage. I mean, it's super adorable, at least to me. Uh, I started this build a while ago. Uh, I mean, really, like a while ago. And I totally forgot about it. This is not the first build that I forgot about. Uh, honestly, I'm forgetting things a lot. And sometimes I just don't know what to do and then I start building something and then the second day, the second day, literally, I forget that I started it. Uh, but thankfully, I saved it to my library. Uh, God knows why, I don't often do that at the beginning but i started doing that not so long time ago because i'm constantly deleting my old uh, worlds and my old builds and then i noticed that i don't have some builds that i actually started because I deleted the whole world and I didn't save my process to the library. So I'm trying to learn from, from my mistakes. So actually I started this build before I built the lighthouse. But I basically did just the in exterior, just the walls, uh, roofs, details and things like that. And I stopped. I didn't do like landscaping or the interior or anything um, but since we've got a lot of coastal items from uh, Harry uh, I just decided to finish my older like coastal builds up because I really really love coastal builds everything by the sea I love everything by the sea and when I started this channel I said that um, my favorite uh, houses are Victorian houses which is true but to be quite honest lately I'm more into uh, Mediterranean houses and definitely when I could pick where I could live for the rest of my life. It would be somewhere on the Mediterranean, in the traditional stone house, and I would just enjoy like living by the sea. Just, um, I don't know, did you guys ever been to the sea before? But uh, if you have been, you know that those sounds those sounds are everything like you can just uh, hear like crickets and um, waves crashing the rocks and everything and just it's so serene I would I would stay there forever I swear to God every time when I'm going somewhere on the seaside I just I don't want to go back <laughs> I don't want to go back. I mean, after some time not having my PC and everything, yeah, that's that's bad. Uh, when we are talking about my PC, I'm getting a lot of questions like which PC I'm using and things like that. Guys, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Don't ever ask me that question because I have no idea. Like, 
my boyfriend is responsible for everything PC related and also my friend Nevin who um, who made basically this whole uh, computer uh, like we bought it by parts you know like it's not like a done done deal so yeah guys I really don't know anything about computer what graphic card or whatever I really yeah <laughs> I don't even get it you know how everything works so uh, that kind of a question is definitely wrong for me uh, you notice that we started on a different lot in uh, Tom Bay I don't know why I couldn't pronounce this right now but whatever uh, Bridleton Bay yeah uh, but I finished it up in Winderberg just because of the light uh, I didn't uh, like the lightning uh, the lighting on the original lot so I decided to move somewhere where um, the lighting is like prettier and it looks more natural and of course it's in the Winderberg uh, but right now when I'm watching this uh, like nautical coastal kind of builds I really wish to decorate the whole island like I don't know how many lots are there on the island is it like five five more <laughs> not entirely sure uh, but I could definitely I can definitely do six builds or five or or ten in this particular style because to me it's so cozy and serene like all those uh, beautiful beautiful colors like of the uh, sky and the sea like blue, uh, blue colors and mixed with all these whites it's just um, adorable I think uh, I believe this type of a house is more like a suburban, correct me if I'm wrong, but definitely the shape is there. It's a super tiny cottage, it doesn't have much inside, uh, but it's made for three sims because I was able to put one more uh, bedroom on the second floor. Uh, so we have basically the bedroom for the parents and we have a children uh, bedroom on the second floor. I believe we have only one bathroom and that's just because nothing else was able to fit in here. As I said, this is 20 by 20 lots, so it's not much, but it's exactly what I wanted. If you know what I mean. I just wanted to build something super tiny, super cute, by the sea. It's ideal. <laughs> I was still in the lighthouse mood, I, I think, because, uh, you know, we are heading to the end of this summer, like slowly heading into the autumn era and gold reddish colors and oranges and yellows and things like that which is of course beautiful as well every season uh, has its own natural beauty you know uh, but I think I'm going to miss summer uh, I'm always missing summer um, it's not just necessarily because of the warm weather but uh, because of the warm weather but when it's you know when it's cold outside you need to have like five pieces of clothes <laughs> on you at least in Croatia during uh, the winter uh, it knows how to get pretty cold let's say it like that especially when you're living on the Mediterranean so there you have like strong winds and things like that um so i i really don't like that i really don't like when i need to have you know a t-shirt and and the vest and the jacket and like 
and then when you are going going somewhere you basically need to put everything uh, away and it's it's really annoying <laughs> and that's why I miss summer every single uh, year but also I'm missing summer of course because uh, of the sea and you can swim and all of the summer activities outdoors basically um, yeah right now I was saying uh, things like I'm outside every single day I like uh, hiking <laughs> or whatever uh, but you got you guys since I have this channel and bam bam like I'm not going anywhere <laughs> I'm not going to lie um, but yeah during the summer I'm always trying to find at least a week or two uh, to go somewhere in Croatia on the Mediterranean Sea and just um, just enjoy like Adriatic Sea, but Adriatic Sea is part of the Mediterranean, so... <laughs> uh, a lot of people doesn't have clue where Croatia is, but yeah, that's not... It's, it's understandable, <laughs> you know, it's understandable because we are like a super tiny country and it's really hard to find us on the map, you know. <laughs> so uh, we are in the interior, guys. We have like a small open concept in here. So we have like a living room, a dining room and a kitchen basically in the same area, uh, which actually for, uh, like work perfectly so I think it's good I think it works and actually it looks like it has like this house has more space than it actually has <laughs> so that's always great my friend Buana always asks me how I managed to do such a tiny build uh, look bigger every single time and I think a lot of it is in a floor plan. I'm, I mean, I'm not a designer, so I can't tell, but I think it's definitely floor plan. And it's definitely uh, how you're going to place your furniture. You need to firstly prioritize things, you know, that you're going to use. And then, God help you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> place everything and just find some extra space for some clutter or whatever. Uh, by the way, you guys, thank you so much for downloading my builds from the CurseForge, because if you are downloading my builds from the CurseForge, I get the small fee, even though you don't have to pay pay for uh, my build so that's amazing it's a plus for you plus for me and of course it's a plus because it's much simpler to find all of the custom content that you need and download it and everything so thank you curse forge for this opportunity <laughs> possibility <laughs> Um, yeah, and by the way, when we are talking uh, about the Curse Forge, a lot of you have been asking me about putting my builds on the gallery. And right now I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I'm not really uploading my CC builds to the gallery. Uh, I don't see the point, uh, to be quite honest. There is no space to make the whole CC list or anything. So, yeah, it's really just, you know, I, you need something better, you need something better. If you want to have everything the way is, as it is, you, I just, it's complicated, it's really complicated. So I'm going to upload my non-CC builds always on the gallery, always, 
and on the first porch but on the gallery as well and for the CC builds they're going to be on the curse porch where you can uh, download the tray file so you don't put my tray files into the mods folder you put it in your tray folder and don't forget to unpack it so always unpack it uh, and that will be everything for this build today guys I'm so happy that you find this 20 minutes uh, to watch my video and to listen to me talking like blah 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 20 minutes so yeah I'm sending you a lot a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very very soon bye bye you guys